Fox 26 is continuing to shine a light on the thousands of missing people from the greater Houston area. And tonight we bring you the story of a daughter who hasn't seen her father in more than 20 years. Here's Fox 26's Gabby Hart with this week's edition of The Missing. Well, this story paints a picture of a father and daughter with a rocky relationship. In fact, more than 10 years went by before he was actually reported missing. His daughter now saying that she only wishes she had the opportunity to make things right before he vanished. I'm looking for closure, ma'am. This has taken a toll on my life tremendously. The last time Lavetta Smith saw her father, 49-year-old Almond Jean Little, it was April of 1999. She was in her early 20s. Her father was homeless and battling a drug addiction. Around the time of his disappearance, Smith says their relationship was fractured. She blamed him for the murder of her brother in 1996. And it was due to drug dealing. And so uh, my brother, before he got murdered, he told me that dad stole drugs from him. I mean, he wasn't able to replace the money, so the guys threatened him. As weeks, months, and then years passed without anyone seeing or hearing from Little, Smith says she put her resentment to the side and started searching for her father. Um, I started looking all like at the jails, you know, calling around at the hospital. She went to numerous locations he was known to frequent in the Acres Homes area of North Houston. But the last time anyone could remember seeing Almond Little was in October of 1999. Smith filed an official missing persons report in July of 2011, 12 years after her father went missing. That is a long time, yes. you know, from 1999 it's a long to, time. to 2011. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I was, you know, I had different feelings, emotions that I went through. You know, it was like anger, fear, shame. 22 years have passed, and Little's family still has no clue what became of him. If he is still living, he would be 72 years old. Do you think there's any chance that your father is still out there somewhere alive and well? No, I definitely do not believe that he's alive and well. Smith openly admits her father was far from perfect. He had a drug addiction. He was missing from important milestones during her youth, but she says they had good memories as well. He appeared at my graduation and I was shocked because I didn't know that he was coming. And Smith says not a day goes by where she doesn't wish that she could speak with her father again. And I would, first of all, let him know that I forgive him. You know, I would let him know that I love him and that I miss him. I miss him. And Smith actually wrote and published a book called Dear Dad. In the book, she fills her father in on all that he's missed over the last 20 years. Let's help this family finally get some closure. Anyone with information on the whereabouts or the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of Almond Little, pick up the phone and call police. You can also call Crime Stoppers if you'd like to remain anonymous. For Fox 26 News, I'm Gabby Hart reporting. And as Gabby mentioned, Fox 26 has partnered with the Texas Center for the Missing to help the thousands of families still searching for their loved ones. If you would like to share their stories, you can head on over to our website, fox26houston.com, and click on the Missing tab.